Yeah. Many folks think that the cost of risk is all about just insurance, but in reality, cost of risk is, is, is beyond that. It's, it's the safety, it's the uh, contractual management of that risk, and, and the brand liability. Sometimes a, a developer owner's reputation can be skewed just by having poor risk factors involved in their project. So um, specifically to looking at risk, we try to look at the whole uh, gamut of, of possibilities. And, uh, The, the cost of risk is, is all, uh, I think, m more about how us as consultants in, my, in my, the world I live in, how we can help an owner or developer take something that can be ultimately uh, looked at as being horrendously dangerous, and, and I, we call it dressing up the pig, make the guy in the, the, uh, the crane look like he's sitting on the beach in, in Maui. And there's no risk at all um, to the underwriter, if you can express that in a way that makes them sleep well at night. And they, they look at it and they, and they want to know that it can be insured. Uh, we can explain and, and mitigate any concerns they have. And secondly, they want to know that the likelihood of a loss is either minimal or if it's going to happen, because some losses, they're just expected to happen, that the response will, will mitigate the cost, so you're not going to have an extraordinary cost. When an underwriter feels a comfort level, then the cost of risk can be, and the premiums can be maintained and, and you know, held into a reasonable level. We partner with, with my banking partners. We work as a collaborative team. In many cases, and after 28, we see that risk is, is now the thing in the forefront. Underwriting was so loose years ago that a lot of, and it wasn't just in banking, it was in insurance. A lot of, uh, a lot of issues result. Now everyone is underwriting uh, so much more uh, uh, finitely. So our bank now is afraid to do a deal they would have done four or five years ago. So when we go through this process, a lot of times we can partner an insurance solution with the, the banking opportunity, with the lending opportunity to actually facilitate that. And uh, kind of an example of that is if there's an environmental exposure to a site in New York City in Manhattan, we may have a very viable project, everything else is a go, but the underwriter on the, on the banking side is sitting there saying, I don't think I can swallow this pill. There's probably uh, tanks beneath the surface, ten layers down. As soon as we put the shovel in the ground, something's going to we're going to find something. So we try to craft an insurance policy. In this case, we would say let's have a cost cap policy, so that if there is a cleanup, we know what the appetite of the uh, uh, bank is, as well as the developer for absorbing the cost cleanup. After that level, we'll write an insurance that will a policy that will pick up, and and pay and respond to that cleanup. So you have a banker, uh, an underwriter sitting there saying, I think I now can swallow this poison pill because I know that if worst case scenario, I'm only going to have this much exposure. And I know my developer now can handle that financially. We're, we're good to go. So one, it was in, a Ma in Maui, on the beach in Maui, where it, uh, through a joint venture, two resorts, uh, resort hotel complex, or. Uh, entities were looking at a parking lot on a beachfront and saying, we'd rather have a timeshare there. So they went into a joint venture. Their biggest concern was uh, you have wind, you have hurricanes, you have uh, uh, tropical issues to deal with. Secondly, you have in Hawaii ancestral remains that can easily be dug up in, in the first and second layer of excavation. So we were able to craft some policies and insurance that uh, co covered those kind of interruptions or uh, Things. Another example is in, in uh, New Jersey. You have a landfill, you have contamination, you know there's contamination. To put a housing unit on that, uh, that area, uh, land is so rare, they had, there. they had to find some solution. So again, we responded to it with some consultative work, working with the bank and underwriters, created a, a policy that, that it was a safety net for the areas where they thought they might have a liability farther down the road. In that case, if people were buying homes or living there, toxins seep up five years down the road. You've got to be concerned that you're going to have kids with cancer. You've got to ensure that for the pollution legal liability, but you also have to worry about the developer having the legacy of, of having children in his development. With it. So, so a lot of things that we do to craft to make sure that if an, an example of that happens, they come back and respond so quickly that it doesn't make a headline. Or, uh, so. Well, it sounds like everybody needs a policy like this. Yeah. This is going to continue to be a big uh, 
Well, I, we, we believe I, there are emerging opportunities in, in health care. Uh, we see that as being the biggest opportunity down the road with uh, construction. Now, I'm, I'm using environmental uh, examples in my responses, but uh, e even creatively in the uh, emerging construction world where you see a lot of footprints changing on the healthcare system side. We know construction is happening now is going to increase in the next five to ten years. Uh, we look for creative solutions there too and, and owner controlled insurance programs for those hospitals and uh, health systems that don't do a lot of new development. Um, we can help them manage that risk very creatively, uh, give them financial advantages. Uh, and I say, when I say we, I mean our industry can give them financial advantages to managing the cost of risk during the construction. Uh, also seeing some benefits on the back end for completed projects that uh, eliminate the issues of liability if there are defects in the building. So, you know, the creativity of my uh, uh, profession is probably, you know, this, this behind the scenes. We our banks uh, facilitate deals, owners and developers uh, realize and optimize their investment in a project, not just during the project build, but long term.